end the year, I want to get some quick thoughts from each of our designers on design because we like to get into your heads and then we follow everything you want to you want to you do or you're into. Okay, this is the first one, and I'm, we're just going to go through these quickly. Okay? okay, what color are you dying to use in someone's home but haven't yet? Maybe I'll start with Sharon. I you're, you're don't the use a lot of pink, so I'm dying to use Head Over Heels, which is a pinky. Right, okay. Almost like I a know, I love the names. Pink. No, it's actually, well, it's kind of more a toned down blushy, but to me, it's pink. <laughs> it's pink, it's pink. Subtle, subtle. Is really? Narragansett Green. It's a super dark, dark green. HC157, not that I've been thinking about it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you yours. want that color, call me. Yeah. And you can just give us a tone. It doesn't have to be an actual exactly. specific. I would just like to do some dark, shiny, high gloss, like glass Ooh, rooms, lacquer. like that super lacquered lacquer. wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not That's attempt that beautiful. on your own. Yes. yes. <laughs> Get help with that. We yeah. that. With limited time and budget, what can people do right now to improve a room? Like if they were to go home today and they wanted mm. to make a quick fix, what can they do? I think it's paint. Yeah. Change paint. the paint. Get rid of half your stuff. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. That's a good yes. one. Yo, yes. get rid of all your oh. husband's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Are they allowed to have anything? Yeah. And you're going to go for paint? I think paint. Paint. paint a piece paint. of furniture, though. It's a quick thing you can do. Paint That's a piece true. of yes. furniture yes. and give you it a new life. You can do that in the garage if you have it. Yeah. I want to talk more about the declutter purge mm. situation. Yeah. Yes. How often should you? Declutter purge. I'll start with you, Kimberly. Every six months, for sure. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you try and make it more of a, a like a constant rotation of getting rid of the stuff you don't want? Do you try and do that in your real you, lives? I think you get to a point where you're like, I got to do something. There's yeah. too much stuff yeah. here. So I, I try to do it at least every six months, if mm -hmm. not every season. Yes. Yeah. I That's just, good. There are things that you have that someone else could use. Use. Yes. I feel exactly. so guilty. I feel like it could be anything. It could be mugs. If you have right. too many mugs there's somebody who would love yeah. mugs yes. I just you know Especially bless it and let it go like yeah. go out in the world and you used it you loved it that. you can get rid of it you and you should pretty kids? much no <laughs> <laughs> keep your Nobody children told me keep that the when they were keep your kids, kids. kids. Oh. but you know oh, we get a lot of stuff right? this time of year because a lot of suppliers <laughs> yes. send us things I have more yeah, mugs with true. corporate names on right. them yes. so there's so much stuff that I get and I think well I'm not just going to stick it in the cupboard I got to give it to someone that wants this it's the right thing to do I I was able to donate a, a, like bags, a, a dozens of bags of clothing, shoes, purses so, over the holidays. My so whole good. thing is I need to have somewhere for it to go right. yes. before I start the purge. Because exactly. yeah. the last thing I want is to be looking at garbage bags or garment bags in my foyer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to yes. drive me nuts. So as, as long as I organize that, yeah. I can get rid of it. Yeah. But awesome. good tips, guys. We're